The prediction is which one of these will you choose? 1A7 or green? I don't know what that means. Money, the prediction is which one of these will you choose? 1A7 green? Like laundry or murder? What are you, what are you guys seven, talking about? Seven. Is small ant in my time zone? How will the cube work if it's not set up for PST? What? The cube, the cube is, the cube has its own. The cube isn't pre-programmed, giant leprechaun. The cube is a living being. It truly is. Yeah, the cube, the cube is a living being, dude. There's no pre-program here. The cube is, uh, can respond to me when it's awake. Not awake. Listen, maybe if you guys, maybe if you guys get more, uh, get more coins. Wake his ass up then? I mean, it is kind of funny. Like he came to my house and now he's just sleeping. Like Moni. Yep. Exactly the same. Moni and the cube showed up at the same time, actually. So. Was, I was just like, wait, what are you announcing? He's like, it's the cube. Mm -hmm. The cube was definitely working. Moni thought I was changing websites. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't get the bag. No. 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 Mm, a couple months ago, I would have said maybe. YouTube, yeah, YouTube. Doesn't I would. have to be the worst available option. <laughs> <laughs> the Grand Hoover domain is a really big conversation. I think we know who owns it, but the person disappeared. No, I found him. I have it. Oh, okay. I own. I I have GrandPooper.com back. I should be able to. Give it, it should be, Spaniel's gonna do something with it. We're gonna do something with it. It'll be super exciting. I don't really think it matters owning your own. Oh, whoa, whoa, why was that such a short uppy? And why did that guy get the longest uppy of all time? Come on, game. Work with me here. Don't you dare. Don't you dare, guy. Uh, and tease. Yeah, I need, to, I need to set up a giveaway for him. Um, I'm... For and tease? You love all the streamer specific names of the Skyway? Why, what do other streamers call them? You don't think competitive games are fans of collaborations? Barb calls them heaven? Wait, really? I just figured everybody was calling them up with uppies. Yeah. Being in giveaways, your Michelin ticket should be here soon. What'd you win, Panty Hamster? Yeah, what'd you even win? Did you get your Kaizo Coliseum stuff yet? I thought Uppies was this was the thing that it was called. I literally just thought it was called Uppies for the longest time. I don't know who I heard say that first. I don't think I said it. I definitely don't think I was the one who said it first. I want to say I heard X Water say it. Barb isn't short, so he doesn't immediately call anything uppies. I will fight you. I will come through this computer <laughs> and physically fight you. Whoa, that was a good one. Who said that? I will physically fight you. <laughs> yeah, Barb is a big guy. Very tall. Sure. Not even that tall. <laughs> Not even that tall. He's pretty tall. Not even that tall, Chet. I read the Yes, that is me. Hello. Oh. 
Yeah, this bad. That was bad. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. You've seen the picture? I hate that that, that picture gets photoshopped and passed oh, around more and more. The GDQ picture? The GDQ <laughs> picture of us two. Yeah, it just gets photoshopped and passed around more and more and more. Yeah. That's so funny. It's ridiculous. Oh, well, I will see them this weekend, Panty Hamster. Anyone else buy Powerball tickets? How much is it worth? Is it like $2 billion or something? <laughs> I think it's really big. I should buy some Powerball tickets. Is this yours or mine? That was mine, but there's nothing left. <laughs> one point two last draw. Who's Moni? A mod? A friend? Well, Moni's one of my friends, and a mod, and a streamer, and she came to Kaizo Coliseum, and she'll be at Speedrun Coliseum. Yeah, Photoshop. That's something a small person would say. I will fight you again. I believe there's a new Mario game coming out in two weeks. I'm pretty hyped. I'm flying to Australia for it, so. I can't, um. Ooh, ooh. The problem with every time I buy Powerball tickets and shit is that I do the same thing everyone does when they buy lottery tickets. Talk about what I do if I won and then get sad when I don't. It's 1.2 billion. So my entire company is mine. Oh, this is bad. I can't believe I just did that. $20 worth of green, yeah. It's fun though, it's fun to hope. Come in. All right, I need to catch up to this guy. Oh, there's Ganondorf. Ganondorf. <laughs> no, he's dead. He's super dead. Oh, fuck you. But then if you win the lottery, don't you owe like five million dollars worth of taxes? Who cares? Yeah, here's the thing. I mean, here's the thing. If you're a billionaire. Yeah, listen, the thing with paying taxes is you, you got the money, all right? That's the thing with paying taxes everyone forgets about, right? Yeah, it sucks. But it's because you made the money, you know? Like. Yeah, but isn't it for you like self employed like ridiculous though? Yo, yeah, it's a pain in the ass. I got to pay extra, extra taxes for being self-employed. But, I mean, I, it's not like I don't have, like I made the money, you know what I mean? So. No, don't, ki don't kill me, Joe. No! No, the kids! The kids! Damn. Fuck them kids. Fuck them kids. <laughs> and suddenly everyone becomes my best friend. Uh, chat, if you don't see me stream for the next six months, cause I won Powerball, all right? <laughs> Yeah. Isn't that you don't see me stream, but you see me gifting a lot of subs. <laughs> Powerball. The TikTok trend, like, when I'm a millionaire, I won't say anything, but there will be signs. <laughs> yeah. 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 You you would never see me or we skill now again. Yeah. Early. You, you would see me streaming under, like, Grant Bear Racing. <laughs> yeah. I was about to say, like, he's about to become a sim racer forever and never Mario again. Yeah. When Powerball blew all the money. I don't think it would be possible to blow a Powerball's worth amount of money. Yeah. I don't think that's I don't think I don't think I could blow. So, you know, let's say you take the cash option. Then you pay your taxes, right? Let's say you have... Conservatively, three hundred million dollars. There is no way, no earthly way, Wait, Chad. Three hundred million? You have at least like seven hundred million. Well, you take the cash option, which is probably like eight or nine. Then you pay, and you pay your taxes. So you probably, you probably like on a one point four, realistically would get like five billion. Because the cash option is usually pretty low, comparatively. But you definitely take the cash option. 
But even then, even if you didn't take the you don't have to take the cash option. You could be like, I'm irresponsible. And then get the rest. And then invest it all into crypto? I wouldn't invest it into anything. I just put it in fucking the S&P 500 and safety net of savings account in under my bed. There's just no way. I don't, I don't, there's nothing I could buy that's that much. Yeah, so I have a question for you. What's up? How much money would you need to disassociate from reality? Uh... Like you don't have to worry about anything, you're just like existing. What is that amount of money? $3 million. No, there's no way. You think that's low? That is super low. You think that's low? Yeah, that is super low. Three million dollars. I know that. I actually, I know that number. Yeah. I've done my math. So like for me, it would be like 10 million. Yeah, three million, three million, I could live pretty close to the life I live now forever. So are you saying you're No. No, exactly not. Oh, fuck. But yeah, like, for me, I need to be able to, like, buy a house cash, right? With three million, you can barely do that. With three million, you could barely buy a house cash? Yeah. In this market? In this economy? It depends on where you want to buy it, you know, and what type of house you want to have. At least, like, 800. I don't want anything bigger than this. I could, I could not think of having anything bigger than this. Yeah. And this isn't insane. Our backyard's pretty nice, though. Our backyard's pretty nice. And the, the, guest, the guest suite? We do have a guest. Hey, guest, guest room, okay? Guest room. It's a suite. It's a suite. Yeah. But yeah, like, uh, I think we were talking about this in Laser Belt Street. And someone said, like, oh, I could disassociate with 125000 And I was like, how? Yeah. For 30 years? Yeah, I mean, like, I wouldn't be balling, chat, but... It depends on how you invest it, too. Like, um... You could put it on like a high yield savings account. Yeah. Oh, yeah right. Yeah, I wouldn't have a water features, <laughs> no contain no pools, nothing. The rich people shower. I think ten yeah. would be that. I'm older than you though, so I don't need as much. But I do have a child. Yeah, three million, and then I make Lady Pooh go back to work. Good, good deal. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I guess I don't have much that I want to do in life, and I don't have super expensive tastes, and I have like pretty much everything that I want to like do at this point for the rest of my life. Like, I already have it. Like, I have a, I have a virtual car that has every car. Yeah, the expensive sneakers. I, but that's the thing. I don't buy expensive sneakers. I buy rather actually affordable sneakers. And I don't have that many when you think about how long I've been collecting them. Like, all those sneakers in my closet are over 20 years of collecting. You know what I mean? It's not... Wasn't there a story where you, like, were wearing one of your nice shoes and then someone stepped on you? No. Uh, Xiao Xiao spilled coffee creamer on my most expensive pair of shoes that I own. <laughs> oh, my God. Shit. Yeah. Money will change taste guaranteed. I mean, I I have slight, I would say I have slightly, like, we buy almond milk now, you know? Yeah, I'll say, like, the, it's true that the more you make, sometimes the more you spend. That is true. Yeah. Fly first class one time, you'll never go back? Lies! I don't, I've flown first class, and I don't fly, I'm not... Moni's flying first class to, uh, tonight, and I'm in the back brokey. Yeah, I'm in the back brokey. That Fly international, true. never been international. That is true. Yeah. I'm in the back brokey. I fly first class a lot. Get oat milk, it's creamer, creamerier. I mean, I wasn't my cream, and it wasn't at my house that he spilt it on me, so none of this applies, VMart. Thank you for that suggestion. I don't like oat milk that much, because it tastes like oats. Almond milk doesn't taste like oats. You'd say lifestyle, I was young. Yeah, I was a broke bitch as young kid. So like, I'm fine, man. Yeah, that that's my number. I already know my number, what it would be. 
Anyway, she, uh, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make a new a new sub goal, and it's gonna be three million dollars. And then retire. Dis forever. Disassociate completely. <laughs> disassociate from reality. Disassociate completely is what it's gonna. That'll be the. That'll be the thing. But it's a great question because like some people say like two hundred thousand, and I'm like, dude, two hundred thousand like you can barely like. Well, I mean, well, it depends on where you go. Yeah, I guess. But like for, wow, for me to disassociate, I would have to be able to buy a house cash. I would also have to, for example, if someone got this. Oh my God. Jack. I would need to be able to pay for that without work. Like those are the things that I would need. When he's thinking of big city living, that's true. Like I'm originally from a really big city, so. Wow, chat. I got so lucky with that KO right there. Wow. Wow. I'm shocked at that. Shocked, I tell you. Alaska Airlines? Alaska's okay. Very limited to the West Coast. Yeah. We're flying spirit today. We're we're slumming it. I mean, I'm not. You are. First class spirit, still like <laughs> first class back of the plane, united. Yeah. <laughs> Milk to spirit, but it's like a twenty minute flight. Yeah, and it's like it was like twenty dollars literally to buy. Like the flight was so cheap, we had no choice, and it was only one in our time. So, yeah. yeah. Out of all of the low, like budget airlines, I prefer Spirit over like Frontier, Southwest. I don't know, cause the thing with Spirit, like Southwest, I don't feel like my plane's gonna crash. I don't feel that with Spirit. Oh man. God, man, I do, I do, yeah. I just don't like that Southwest is like sit wherever you can. It feels like I'm getting on a bus. Yeah. I don't like that. You wouldn't fly Spirit if even it was free? All right, bougie, <laughs> bougie person without even a sub. You broke bitch, all right, over there. You won't fly, you, you won't fly Spirit. You'll spend for United. Jesus Christ, all right, we get it. Jeez, you're watching ad here, but you won't fly Spirit? My God, all right, calm down there. It's going where I was going at the time I needed to go. Yeah, that's true, we need a later flight. Yeah. <laughs> it's also, again, a 20 minute flight. Yeah, it's like 20 minutes. Literally. They, I don't even have time to buy their water. Because, <laughs> you know, they charge you for water. Yeah, they charge you for water on Spirit. But shouldn't that be illegal? Like, what if I was dying? What if I was dying of thirst? So, because I used to work in travel, I know this. So, depend, depending on the, the flight length, they are not required to see. Really? Yep. Um, like I was flying between LA and San Francisco and he didn't have What? Garbage. Didn't they offer you water when you walk in the plane, but after that? Ah! Stop it! The hospital charge you for keeping people alive? I mean, that's true. The most fucked up bill you'll ever get is the bill for your child when they're born. And I'm, because you're like, motherfucker, they were in my room the whole time. He didn't get his own room. I just think it's insane that we have to pay. It's not that. Ah! Okay, we're good. We're good. I'll use the next three. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's just waste our waste our tickets. Nine tickets down the road or down the drain, down the thing. You didn't. She didn't laugh at that. I did. No. Uh, Mister E88, thank you so much. Thank you five from the Dubacube chat. I didn't see that one. 
Um, see if Star is amazing. Five dollar cheese it. Thank you again. Uh, number go up. We're like, what are we from 4K? We're 16 Ooh. subs from 4K. That's close. Can you pay in advance for the birth? What? I just think it's interesting to see Poo so passionate about a game because I would, I could never. Doesn't the hospital charge per baby if you have twins? Yeah, well, they do. I mean, that would make sense to me. I mean, <laughs> I mean, if I was trying to get money, that's what I would do. Oh, there's kids again. Luis. We just had a whole thing where we were getting double charged for insurance. Oh no. Yeah. Come here, Sarah they, and kids. They charge you for a baby. Yep. That sounds right. I need someone to drop a fifty No. Is this lap three? Shit. This is not good. dangerous spot. I'm good, Sky. Whee! Okay, now we're not in a dangerous spot anymore, chat. We're gonna save this. Normally I would boost right here on the last lap, but we're not going to boost right here right now. Someone needs to clip that immediately. I expect a TikTok about it, Spanio. Because that was very good timing. <laughs> oh my god, man. I just wasted... I can't believe I just did that on... I'm fucking night league. We need a crash emote? Disagree. Good news is we're not in a dangerous spot. I don't even know what happened. I thought I didn't make the turn somehow. Yeah, it looks like 50,000. My only 50,000 points are Well, maybe you should watch more. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Brain tricks, thank you for the gift sub. Wow. Um, I did say I was gonna throw the tickets away. Fair. Is that Moni? No. Yes, that is Moni. When is a cube time? Monday. It's asleep. Yeah, the cube's sleeping. He's just sleep. He's just a sleepy little guy. You got the day off tomorrow, you're gonna cube it up. Chat, you think they'd be mad if I'd be late for my NFL show rehearsal so I can do a race? They probably would be, wouldn't they? You're right. Why would they be mad? Why wouldn't they be mad? I can do like a 15 minute race. What time is the show? Uh, three. 
Oh, is that kit? Oh, that was a nice boost. This one. Thought I was going to hit him. Thought I was going to hit him. Everyone thought I was going to hit that red one. I dodged him, though. Way to go, me. Sketchy. Oh, okay. All right, chat. This is it. This is it. We just need a clean lap. And then we're good to go. celebrate I lapped a person everyone everyone say wow I thought Usher was doing the Super Bowl though Oh well, yeah, I mean she don't need the halftime show. Getting those free, yes, wow, exactly. Everyone poo pop it. Usher needs the halftime show because. Moni said that Taylor Swift's getting free ads from the NFL, so she'll do the halftime show. You're not saying wow, those were bots, JT Money. I will destroy you at this game. I will murder you so much that your mom will disown you and say, I'm going to adopt him, but then realize that's a bad idea because she's so sexually attracted to me that it would never work out. And then I would date her and just become your father. That's what would happen, JT Money, if we raced in this game. Wow. <laughs> Damn. Your mom, right there she is, JT Money, right there. <laughs> particularly excited for Usher either and I like Usher like I'm not against Usher by any means like I think Usher's fine fine artist but I think Usher would have been great in like 2007 oh wow unnecessary shot to Usher <laughs> yeah I kind of agree though it's not even that it's like I don't think his Outside of his first album, I don't think a lot of his sound is timeless. I think Yab is, maybe. That's it. That's where it ends. I like You Make Me Wanna and Nice and Slow. He's got a small in love. <sighs> and Somebody to Love with Justin Bieber. Yeah, Somebody to Love is... If he has Bieber come out, then... Oh, then that would make sense. But at that point, why not just get the beads? Yeah, Confessions was fire. I don't know if that's a Super Bowl halftime show song, though. I am too young for Usher. Yeah, that is 
You don't know you make me want to. You've never heard Nice and Slow? Have you ever seen the video to Nice? I'm about to take a DMCA right now so we can watch the video to Nice and Slow. This week. Oh my god, stop. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck you! <laughs> no! No! Nice. No! Was so funny. <laughs> Not Fire Dragon. I was dominating that race unmercifully. No! <laughs> oh. He killed Barb yesterday. You know what? You know what? I'm clipping. I'm clipping every time I beat any other streamer in this and, and rubbing it in their face. I'm going to tweet it out so everyone sees it and then they talk about it in chat the next day. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> Bet I won't? No, of course I won't. I'm way too lazy to do that. He's on my confession. Just when I thought all I could say, on the side. She she got one on the way. Also, Usher pretty famously has like a litany of STIs. <laughs> hey, I didn't give them to him. Yeah, she had never seen Bitch on Macau. Yes, I do want to pack that. I think it's going to be hot this week. Much hotter than Kaizo Kahlo was. Yeah, it's going to be way... Well, Kaizo Kahlo was... We were in a hurricane, so... It wasn't even that bad. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's going to be hot this weekend. I can deal with that. Moni here to sabotage the cube. I'm terrified of No, don't don't kill me. Don't <sighs> Disease Famous is pretty famous, asked Lou Gehrig. I think Lou Gehrig made the disease famous, not other way around, okay? John Cancer isn't exactly got any statues out there. You know? You don't see any you don't see anyone having any like fundraisers for Jimmy Erectile Dysfunction. Like Come on. We can watch quality at 10. Oh, because it's sprint weekend. Yeah. What time's the sprint? Uh, I think it's 10. Oh, sweet. Sweet. Yeah. Everyone will be setting up the stream and we'll be like, you know. It's hard to raise money for erectile dysfunction. Yes, I'm, I have no pro. I think there's much more worthy causes than erectile dysfunction to raise money for. Yeah. <laughs> He was a famous rugby player. Yeah, Jimmy Jimmy Erectile Dysfunction. Can't raise. I get it. No, I got it. You can't raise. I get it, but that still. Great tagline for a, for a charity fundraiser. What? You can't raise money for erectile dysfunction? I'm good. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna. Yeah, we're gonna have a. That's my next. You know what? Honestly. Forget, forget wings for life, chat. Wings for life is great. Wings for life is great, but we're we're done. We're just gonna talk about ED charities from here on out. Whoa! Damn it! I wanted to kill him. You're not very good at this. I do not want to hear it. I have 99 wins and I am S2, okay? I am great at this game. 
I'm just having a streak of interesting luck right now. Retrofile, thank you so much for the raid. Thanks, Retrofile. I greatly appreciate it. Screw wings for life. We need dongs for wife. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> to Square, thank you for 90 months. Dongs for all right, yeah, yeah. We're changing we're changing the uh this is Moni. One of my one of our mods, uh our friend. Uh she's coming to Speedrun Coliseum. She came and visited us for a week beforehand. Um has been hanging out. But this is the first time she came up on stream. I've been working while he streams. Do, 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 do. Freakish one. Yeah, you should have just deleted that whole thing. I'm posting emote in chat. So Moni can't ban you? She could absolutely ban you right now. Okay, please don't have the sound up. Pop pop. I can also ban you from Discord. I should make a magnitude emote. Will someone make me a picture of Mac? <gasps> Fuck wads. Will someone make me a picture of Mag Magnitude's face and give what, me an emote? What is Moni's favorite food content? Oh, that's a GTA. Uh, no, <laughs> no. My favorite Graham Cooper content will and forever be the Breath of the Wild thing. That's when I peaked. I. That's when I peaked. And I rewatched that playthrough every single year before, like around the same time we came out in March. Watch it every year. It's great content and it's all on YouTube. <laughs> like literally the whole thing the is whole on YouTube. Thing is on YouTube. Yeah. So it's perfect, like you can go to bed. Oh, it's so cool. Oh, it's so cool. That was back when I. That was back when you could just put raw gameplay on YouTube yeah. chat. Yeah, it's unedited too for most of the time. Yeah, it's. Oh, I miss those days. Oh no, I missed him. Oh no, that's not good. Yeah, I think that would be. Uh, I would say Tears of the Kingdom is the The first Hollybridge game. Again, I've been more uppies. for almost eight years, so... Give me uppies. Uppies! Uppies! Up! 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 Go! No! No! One more! Fuck you! Blue car! Oh my god. Stop hitting me. Stop hitting me. Don't, don't you dare. I finished. You think the end of the first subathon was your favorite? I like about day 12 of subathon. Oh, I think the day who got signed by Red Bull, that one was very special too. That one was a pretty good day for me. I finished is a great tagline for your ED charity. We're not creating an ED charity, Chet. Listen, listen, I, I already have to raise enough money for enough things. I already have to explain to you all why medical medicine and um, medical medicine. fixing fixing uh, paralysis through like you know how many you know how hard it was when I first started raising money for Wings for Life because so many people just thought it was like an impossible thing, and now it's like I, I every time I got to explain to people like no it's not possible it's like no we're actually solving this problem right fucking now we just need money, you know yeah. Do you think that's how I say I had an orgasm? Weird thing to think about, Killer Toe. How often do you think about me orgasming? Uh, either way, you need a gift sub for every time you do. That's the rules of the internet. You're allowed to objectify, but it costs you. <laughs> you could objectify me for the low, low price of 
four ninety nine a month. I paid. Yeah, I just found out like a fucking ten year sub in Panama is like no money. A local pricing. I make no money off Panama. Which is like stupid as fuck because we have the dollar. Right? Right. <laughs> yeah, my my subs on September were one ninety seven. Yeah, she showed me. And that's dollars. That's not like yeah. Australian didgeridoos. Yeah, maybe I should hear. No, I'm okay with it. I'm a YouTube member, though. Yeah, there you go. Oh, shit, chat. Uh-oh. What? He's just offline sniping me, man. I swear to God, he just sits in chat and offline snipes me. Oh, man, he's got a good lead right here. Why is he playing when he's not streaming? Because I made a YouTube video about him. Let's say I'm rooting for him. And now, I know, I think the whole world's rooting for him after I made the YouTube video. He is smoking, actually. Whoa! Was that one of his viewers that just came out and hit me out of nowhere, too? What is going on here? That's the karma I get. Oh, Z-Wing's in here and Fire Dragon? Oh, screw this. Did he crash? Oh my god, did he? He must have crashed. But he was like cooking. Damn. Yep. Yep. He was, he was, dude, he was so far ahead of everybody. Yeah. He was so far ahead of everybody. Right there. I was just like, I was like, holy shit. Hi, you just pie. Pull to George Russell. Pull to George. You know what? I've been there. I've been there. Been there. That's right. He crashed like right at the end. Of, was it Singapore or Japan? Uh, Singapore. Pull to G Russ. I just want to put it here for posterity. I like how many people come in here and like I'm racing here right now. Maybe he just stopped trying to follow me? Well, he was deeply in front of me right there. I was about to say something right now. <laughs> Who turned in on me? I did just turn it on Barb right there. That was a bad move. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be a tough race now. We can do a bounce rate one pass and just crush it. Yeah, they all do different things. Mine's pretty much like a win or die car. And Barb's in a can't get in any accident car right now. But his is the fastest overall. Like his is 40 miles per hour faster than me. Uh, but basically like I got more DRS. Is the best way to, yeah. Yeah. Barb's car has no acceleration, but it's the fastest overall, so... Basically, he's just trying to run clean races. Like the red one. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, Barb's car? Barb's car has really good grip. Mine's got... Mine's pretty loose. 
But again, the DRS, you know? Yeah. I'm driving a Ferrari, no, honestly. It's super a fast. You're driving a Mercedes. Yeah, no, it's super fast, but it blows up all the time. Oh, yeah, I guess. New meta sideswipe your opponent off the line. I took him out right away, chat. Um, DRS is direct reduction system. So basically, it lets wind go through the car uh, without resistance, so it goes faster. Aerodynamics, maybe. Barb died again? No, where is he? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, it did. Mm, mm, it's because I took him out. It's because I took him out right there, chat. <laughs> that that spin in right away. <laughs> uh, Mute City is a fox. Like I feel like you pretty much. Have, I guess I don't know. Like look, I guess look at those stingrays up there. The stingray meta I think is getting like bigger. I'm holding off on the on this, but I don't think I can hold off much longer. I get moral victory? No, I cheated. What do you mean? And then there's you, Goose. I think Gooses are pretty consistent. I just think it's hard to win like time in and time out with Goose. Because I feel like you have to rely on uppies and I feel like uppies are... The thing with uppies, they're inconsistent about where you get them and where you get them I think is so important. Well, that sucked. Didn't exactly do that perfectly, but that's fine. pretty good right here we're running pretty good we're gonna hold off on this one we're gonna take this one here I thought I was over, man. I thought I was over. Um, what is that controller, by the way? This one? It's like supposed to have the little triggers on the back, but I lost them. Well, that's not a pro controller. Yeah, it is. Like, but like, uh. It's another brand. Yeah. Yeah. I like it though. Yeah. Yeah. It feels like a um, Xbox controller. Yeah. That car bomb should have ended me. JT Money, you talk a lot of smack for no nobody, right? <laughs> JT Money, you talk a lot of smack about a video game that doesn't matter, okay? Yeah. And he's not sub either. Yeah. You talk a lot of smack for a non sub biznitch. <laughs> All right, let's go. One more. One more. I still got tickets. I still got tickets. So sassy. <laughs> do do do. Do 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 do. Yeah, you gonna take that? 
I still got tickets, baby. I got tickets. Here's your time, JT Money. Get in here. Spend your tickets. Let's do it. Money match. Yeah, I'm going to money match you in this. <laughs> oh my god, I'm going to put money matches as my title. F099 money matches. <laughs> he doesn't have anything to say. <laughs> you know what I would be? I'd just make up. I'd be like, yeah, that's my username right there. Yeah. Justin Wong money matching right now. Nintendo Switch Online. Okay, let's go. I hate Big Blue, dude. This is my, this is the one track I feel like I really suck at, no matter what. Yeah, it's because the car is so slow, and there's not enough, there's not that many spots to boost here. This game's fun. You should play this game. You play a lot of Pete Cross. Have you ever played Pete Cross? The Cross? Yes. I have. I've been traveling for two months without my Switch, so it's not a game. Yeah. I bring my Switch pretty much everywhere, even if I don't plan on playing it. I haven't even beaten the Tears of the King. <gasps> oh. Good game, good. Don't worry, you can watch Gina and B play it today. I was watching the game yesterday. <laughs> He's uh, very cute with it. He's like, I'm gonna be playing this for <laughs> Did you see the Animal Crossing Lego? No. I Tom Nook beating that IRL. They got a Tom Nook. Do they have a Tom Nook minifig? Because yes. I would just want that. Yes. JT Money, shut up. You lost. <laughs> okay, those are dope. I would get it just for the minifigs. Yeah, just for the minifig. Yeah, they're just minifigs. Blue cars always seem to hit me. I know. I won, JT Money. Be quiet. <laughs> Say sorry and sub. <laughs> Come on, go faster. The Lego Mario video game doesn't exist. Yeah, I don't get how they haven't made that yet, right? I think the problem is that the Lego video games aren't Nintendo standard. They're good, but they're not like Nintendo good. Does that Are make sense? Are they good? I have never played them. They're good. They're super cute. Yeah. But they're not Nintendo good. Are you excited about Mario Wonder? Oh yeah. I'm not excited. I feel like I'm not gonna like it. Hater. I feel like I'm not gonna like it. Why? Yeah, I have no choice but to be excited. I, I need I need it to be good. What do you mean? I need Mario Wonder to be good. I guess so. Maybe next week we should play through all the 2D Mario games, chat. What do you think? Oh, that would be sick. We'll do a 2D Mario thon next week. Except for DS, because I don't That's the whole thing. That would actually be so much fun. All right, just doing it. We're doing it. All every 2D Mario game next week. That's fine. I'll 
I'll give some subs if you do. Wait, my son just asked yeah. Gina if she's 100 years old. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure she loved that. <laughs> that was so cool. I feel like I'm 100 years old. Wonderful, Red Car. Thank you for being there. Thanks, Gray Car. Really appreciate you. Yeah, I think emulating DSD is pretty Yeah, but we could just not, too, you know? Yeah. Friends, they very similar to they have they have Luigi U on Switch now too, right? So I could play that. Does Mario <laughs> Pericolo. Dude, I don't even know what happened there. <laughs> Fucking wrecked by a goose. <laughs> Whenever JT Money said that. Oh shit, I just missed the race I want to do too. Uh, with Zolas, thank you for the three gift subs. Chat, I am, oh shit, we fell back down. Never mind, I'm 24 away, never mind. Um, chat, uh, this weekend, I want everyone to know, um, this weekend I will be out of town, but the stream will still be going, uh, because I will be at Speedrun Coliseum, and if you're like, what's Speedrun Coliseum? It's a lot like Kaizo Coliseum, except with different people and more speedruns. Um, it may be slightly less family feud. Yes. Hey, is that my best friend Chugs? Yeah. Is that my best friend Chugs? Yes, it's Spike Vegeta. So, Kaizo Coliseum would be like my gathering. Um, this would be Spike Vegeta's gathering, I would say. Yeah. Yo, thanks for the raid, Chugs. Oh, yeah, and don't forget to. Ra yeah, we're going to raid Red Bullen here in a second, and I'm going to make everyone sign up for my, my crew. Yes. That's going to be my raid target. Um, everyone from Chugs, hi, I'm Grant Pooh Bear. I play the video games. I also occasionally watch the wrestling. Um, and I, um, no matter what is said on TV, that's all lies. I'm Chugs' best friend. Um, and yeah. Wrestling. Wrestling. I took, I actually took Moni to her first wrestling show. Do you want to tell chat about your first wrestling show? Um, it was a lot of fun. I think I vibe of the audience. So like everyone is vibing, so you kind of just vibe with everyone. Mm -hmm. A lot of cake, a lot of good cake. She's talking about butt, not like, <laughs> not like food, just for the record chat. I'm here for the hot girls and boys. Maxine Dupree was like, oh. Oh, uh, uh, Maxine Dupree was letting us look respectfully. I even said, I was like, Maxine, we're looking respectfully. And she gave me the thumbs up. Uh, I think my favorite was Street Fight. Was that oh, you like the Cody Rhodes Street Fight? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> that was not a good match. I think it was hilarious. Oh, that one was not good. Um... I hate Cody Rhodes though, so I'm, I'm just a hater. No, I, it's not because of the who was wrestling. I think the concept. Of it. Oh yeah. Just throwing shit at people, like, getting them like, I think it was cool to see how into it the other people were. Yes. Because the fans are part of the show. That's the thing. There's 
two wrestlers, a referee, and then there's the fans, and everyone's part of the match. And then there's like people screaming like, everyone hates you, <laughs> to like the wrestlers, and it's we had a little girl behind us that was definitely very into it. Yeah, she was in kayfabe. Ah, this isn't good. Shit. Oh, I hate this game so much. I hate this game so much. Ah. You went to your first other wrestling show two weeks ago. Did you go to an indie or like a big show? I do want to, I, I always want to take someone to an indie. I think like taking someone to a really good indie show is way better than taking someone to WWE. Honestly, I feel like WWE is the worst first experience you can get wrestling. You finished 22, it didn't crash. You're bragging about finishing 22nd JT money. <laughs> did you, does your mom, did your mom put your, your C tests on her refrigerator? What are we talking about? Moni C. John Cena, no. We had uh, Cody Rhodes. We had Seth Rollins. Actually, she got a really good video of us because uh, Seth Rollins was right in front of us. And I told you guys the story I met. Me and my wife were really drunk at the Santa Monica. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Context. Context. It was 10 a.m. We're on vacation, right? And me and my wife were taking my son to the Santa Monica Children's Museum, but we're all on vacation in L.A. So me and my wife were taking sh turns going next door. Like one of us would be in the mu Children's Museum being very responsible, watching our child. And then the other one would go chug, chug a drink. <laughs> and then we were just, we were taking turns doing that, right? And so we were slightly buzzed in the Children's Museum. And lo and behold, Seth Rollins and Becky Lynch were also in there. And like, I'm sitting there minding my own business, right? This kid comes up and starts playing with Brandon and I'm playing with them all. We're building a car. I'm half inebriated. Shit. I'm half inebriated and I look over and the guy's watching me play with his kid, uh, helping them all out and it's Seth Rollins. And I was just like, oh. And at first I was like, is that Seth Rollins? And then Becky Lynch came over and was like, yeah, it's Seth Rollins. And um, were they also drunk? Probably not, no. So anyway, anyway, so I was just like, hey, you guys are awesome. And that was it. I'm not going to say anything else because it's a children's museum, right? I'm not going to ask for a fucking picture at a children's museum. It's kind of weird. And then this week, we're at the wrestling show. We're sitting front row and Moni gets video. Seth Rollins outside the ring getting beat up on and I lean over and I'm like, Seth, we met you at the Santa Monica Children's Museum. And he goes, that's so random. And they just like, oh, and then gets punched in the face. Yes. And so that and was my, video. and we have it on video and it just made my whole entire day week. Yeah. Boney has the whole thing on video. Well, that's random. Well, that's random. Yeah. But I think you're missing part of the important, like the, the context that you kept bumping into him throughout the museum too. Yeah, like the whole time. So I said like, hey, you're dope. And I'm pretty sure they were like trying to be nice. So they kept like standing around us, right? And I think they were trying to be nice. Like either they wanted someone to talk to or they were like, let's just let this guy get his picture, right? You know what I mean? <laughs> just get the picture. Put the camera to the phone and show it. I will, I will yeah. send it on. No, I'll send it on, Discord, on the Discord. She'll put. It, she'll post it in Discord. Yeah. And so we kept like bumping into each other. My kid's shoes. Like Becky Lynch was basically sitting on the cubby that had my kid's shoes. My wife had to walk up and be like, "Excuse me, Mister the Man." I'm not gonna give that video for free. You gotta get into Discord. Yeah. Discord. It's like feet. It's the... Yep. But you have to listen to the video. Because it was loud, right? But then you can hear him say, well, that's right. 
Do do. That was a bad move by me. Yeah, Austin Creed was there. Yeah, and then he screamed, that's my friend Grand Pooh Bear in front of everyone. Yeah, he, the very first thing that happened in the show is Creed screams, like, because the audience is pretty quiet, and he just screams, that's my friend Grand Pooh Bear right there. And then the crowd booed, and I was like, what the fuck? And then you screamed, local celebrity. Local celebrity, respect me. Yeah, that's what I did. I did. I screamed, local celebrity, respect me. <laughs> it was funny. I think the crowd is the fun. Oh my god, that blue car had a choice and it chose me. Could have hit the other car, but it chose me. You all you all saw that. How did he get so far in front? Maybe they were saying poo? Good point. They were they were they were booing, they were saying poo. Twitch entertainer. Uh, well, no, it was like Xavier Woods, because Xavier, Wo I, I play games with Austin Creed, Xavier Woods, uh, whatever name you want to give him, um, you know, over the years, and that was the first time we had met, so he caught me, like, we showed up just like a little late, and then he caught me in the corner of his eye, and he skits up on the ropes, and it screams out, that's my friend, that's Grand Pooh Bear! And then I stood up and then people booed. Immediate boo. And I was just like, dang, Lake Tahoe, half of y'all know me here. Literally half of y'all know me. Yeah, we went to this bar and, and then I said, who was? They know who he is. They had a rum runner, whatever that is. A rum runner? Yeah, we took her to the bar me and Gina met at. And Maybe they were Hood Slam fans, yeah. And then Chris gave me a shot of tequila that was, in fact, not a shot. Great. Yes. I took her to the one bar I knew would give me free drinks. Maybe that's what Chris was saying. He's like, we, we go there, and they give us free drinks, and we spend like 10 bucks and get slammed. Yeah, well, that bar, the, we all used to work there. And so it's just like, they're obnoxious there. I might die here, check. So like, if you ever work there, you get free drinks for life for some reason. Coincid Coincidentally, they're shutting down this year. <laughs> No, not not 100% dead. Still alive, Moni. Still alive. Oh my God, that's Rey Mysterio. Speaking of wrestlers. Still alive. Still alive, baby. Murder for no reason. Wow. <laughs> Foxy did so much regen. I know, but he takes takes things. What was my heel turn moment? Who going through his Christian Cage phase? Yo, know, Christian is the most fun person in all of wrestling right now. The whole idea of your whole gimmick is okay, so Moni. I want to tell you about. There's this there's this wrestler named Christian Christian Cage. He's really old, super old man, right? But right now his entire gimmick is beating up wrestlers who have dead fathers. 
and then reminding them that their father's dead and that their mothers need a new man in their life. And that's the entire gimmick. I think that's good. It's such a great gimmick. Yeah. Yes, it's such a great gimmick. It's writing on the daddy vibe. It's such a great gimmick. So just to put in how good the gimmick is, they honored a wrestler, like uh, an old Japanese wrestler, and they had all his sons out in there, and they like had this like moment to like honor him. Like a very, one of the greatest Japanese wrestlers ever died, and they wanted to honor him, right? And in the middle of it, in the middle of them like doing the honoring thing, they just flashed to him watching it. And it was just like the most gold thing ever, because it was just like, ha, ah, another dead dad, you know? And like, it's, it's so amazing, yeah. He's in a turtleneck, yeah, he's in a turtleneck all the time. I mean, doesn't like, I mean, I think there's a lot of people that do that. Doesn't like Pete Davidson also like do that all the time? These aren't jokes though. These are like, yeah, these are like, <laughs> these are, these are more than, I don't know. They're more than jokes. Like they're, they're very, they're very harsh. So one of the wrestlers, like dad died like that week. This is how it all started. Uh, Jack, Jack Perry, his dad's Luke Perry from 90210. Fucking young people. <laughs> Fucking young people. This is just a reminder that Pooh is 10 years older than me. Fucking young people. Yeah, and it all started with that. The Luke Perry, his son is a wrestler, Jack Perry. Jungle Boy Jack Perry. I saw John Cena in the Barbie movie. <laughs> <laughs> and he looks exactly like Luke Perry. Oh, and we saw... Uh, the youth, the goddamn youth. Uh, Rick Flair's daughter. We did see Charlotte. Charlotte Flair. Oh, okay, that's not good. And the girl behind him loved her. Funny might know Riverdale more than Nine of I, I I've actually not seen it. Wait, was Luke Perry on Rivendale? I haven't seen the you would have watched. Yeah, you would have definitely watched 90210. Oh, snap. I got to go, chat. Um, chat. Yes, I did. Uh, chat. I will be back on in one hour for Thursday night football pregame. I will be back on in one hour for the Thursday night football pregame show right here on this channel and Twitch Sports. Uh, all this weekend, my channel will be home to one of the homes to Speedrun Coliseum. So if you want to watch some really fun, it's kind of like Kaizo Coliseum, but more speedrun oriented. Um, I will be on that. But what I need you all to do right now is we're going to raid Red Bull Ian. I need you to go on there, enable the extension, click Team Graham Pooh Bear, and then, and then do your quest, baby. I need you. I need you, okay? I need you, chat. This is me needing you. Um, and then come right back here afterwards. Uh, Wizzleless! Thank you again for the gift subs. Thank you, Crudy, um, for the love. Uh, thank you all so much. Uh, we both crashed. Eh, I crashed first. Uh, 26, way, 26 subs away from 4K. Um, we'll get back there. Um, I love y'all, and I will be, um, at, Ky at again, at Speedrun Coliseum all weekend, but it will, my channel will be live. It'll be live here on this channel. You'll see a lot of me. And then, um, uh, I'll be back on Monday for our first cube challenge, too. Chat. Because the cube's just chilling. Bye, degenerates. Yep. Bye. <laughs> see y'all soon. Bye.